What's up you guys today? We're gonna be working on the cat eye. We picked up this diff for it. We're not sure about the gear ratio on this. It has rotors. The diff on the truck has drums. And we don't know if this is gonna be a direct bolt on, but I it should be. As long as the brake line uh bolts up, I think we should be good. So I'm gonna pull the truck over here right now. So this thing has been parked for a while. The other day we didn't want to turn on at all. And I got a little bit of charge. We hooked it up to a charger. We were able to back up the truck. It did turn on, but we still have to charge the battery. You can see that still needs some charge. We got this at Walmart for the AGM batteries and it's been working pretty good. It was only like 20 bucks. So for the diff, it looks the same. Even the brake line looks the same. The only thing is that it's not gonna have the straps, the limiting straps. And what else? I think that's it. Other than that, it should bolt right up. I don't know if we're gonna cut the stock shock brackets or we might just leave them on there. I'm not 100% sure on that. We gotta jack this up. Well, actually, we gotta put something on the front tires. We're also gonna remove these shocks for now because we are gonna spray the, the cage with some paint so it won't look so ugly. We're gonna start jacking up the truck, and we forgot that we had to remove the drive shaft. So it's a 10 millimeter bolt. Shit, I'm gonna get it. It's not a 10, it's actually like I think an 11 or 12. Most likely an 11. I'm gonna grab that real quick. We're gonna save these because they didn't come with the other diff that we got. And it's also leaking from here again, so we're gonna have to try to figure that out right now. While we're down here, we're gonna remove the limiting straps on both sides. I'm gonna have to do that off camera because I'm gonna get a wrench on one side and the socket on the other. We got both of them off. Now we are ready to jack up the truck and put it on jack stands. Now that both wheels are out, we got the jack stands on the chassis. We're gonna lower the truck and the diff should go down as much as it can. That's uh, super low. Yeah, that's too low. We're gonna have to jack up the truck and lift up the jack stands much higher. We relocated the jack stands. Now we have to remove these shocks because we're gonna let the axle drop all the way to the ground. 22 millimeter for these. Whack it with the BFH. Now I'm gonna do the passenger side and then we'll lower the diff. We we're about to drop the diff. We forgot to disconnect the breather hose up here just pull this off shit kind of tore it up that should come off and then we're gonna disconnect this brake line so one side is a 16 the other side is a 14 right here now that we have the brake line disconnected we're gonna lower the disc we just put those plastic bottles so we could catch some of the brake fluid So there's still some pressure on these leaf spring perches because of the shocks. Uh, but for now, I think we're gonna mess with the parking brakes. We only have these little uh, rubber hooks holding the brake line in like that. So that could release the parking brake cable. And we'll have to mess with it up here. 
here for the parking brake cables we were able to just get some pliers twist this to the side and we were able to just pull these through this opening right here so now we just have to release them from here now that the dip is out we're gonna go ahead and cut all these zip ties off everything every single zip tie except for the ones on the cable because we just did these we're gonna cut the rest of them off all these right here all right so it's been a couple of days and the truck's just been sitting like this because we were trying to get the other truck going for the dyno so today what we're going to be doing is removing the leaf springs on both sides we weren't planning on doing this but since we are going to be painting the whole chassis and the bed cage we might as well remove these so we could get into those uh parts right there and back here on the leaf spring hanger so for the rear we have a 22 millimeter bolt back here we have a 22 millimeter bolt Now that we have both loose springs out, we're gonna hit the frame with this disc that we got at Home Depot. We got a couple of these. You can see we kind of hit this. So all we're doing is just kind of just hitting it real quick. Nothing like super professional or super clean. Just enough so I could rough up the frame and we could get some paint on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do hopefully most of this side and then I'll put you guys on once we start painting. It's been a couple of days and we got basically this side done we're only missing the tire carrier section but you can see that we sprayed the whole frame or well, most of it up to like right here we got like two coats on this we also did this and this so we're gonna hit this right now possibly that one and this top piece we did up to half and on this side, we basically have done everything. We need to hit this a little more, this section right here, a little bit right here. This, I think, needs to get, yeah, I think this section needs to get done. A little bit right here. We're just knocking off the surface rust. I think this was already cleaned up. So we're gonna start spraying here soon. And like I said, we're gonna do this. This whole thing has been cleaned up and we can start doing all of this as well. We might have to run to Home Depot real quick to get more spray paint because we basically ran out. We have like half a can left. So we're done painting the whole cage. We did this backside that we were missing yesterday. We kind of touched it up today. We were missing some spots under that tube and we're missing this spot right here. But we're waiting for this to dry so we can slide the straps to the side and then do the middle section. Everything else is painted. We're just using this to cover up the tank a bit. So what we're going to do next is we're going to zip tie all these wires and hoses and stuff. Uh, we're going to get it nice and neat against the frame. And we're going to clean all this up as much as possible before we slide the diff in. Because if we slide the diff then it's going to be in the way. So we're going to get this done now. We just finished putting in the leaf springs on both sides. The bolts aren't tight. They're just in there right now because we're going to tighten them up when, once the diff is in. But before we throw the diff in, we are going to cut these off. So I don't think we're going to cut them down all the way to the axle. But we're going to chop them off like right about here and just round them out on both sides. And then it should be ready to go in. We finally got the diff in. So the brake line bolts right up. The vent tube was the same thing. The parking brakes, I'm pretty sure they're the same. Uh, what else? 
that's pretty much it I think we just gotta bleed the system and get everything buttoned up we're gonna get these tight once the truck is on its weight we're gonna get these tight once the wheels are on and the shock bolts as well these right here we're missing one nut for that side we're gonna, we're gonna look for it and then install it we're gonna continue tomorrow but for now we got well, at least we got it in we're getting closer and closer to getting it done it's been a couple of days to be honest we stopped recording a bunch of times and then it started raining for a couple of days so we just covered it up and we let it sit see the lines it look way neater now we still gotta reroute this one but for the most part it's looking way way cleaner this one's also got to be shortened down a little bit and what else i think that's pretty much it the cables on the diff with the drums are longer than these so i think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna set these in place for now we don't really use them either way we're just gonna slide them in here and then we're gonna see if we could get something off a four-door truck or extra cap because i think this diff was was off an extra cap you can see they are right about here I don't know, maybe we need some parking brake cables from a single cab or something. And maybe that will work. We're just going to wrap these with the bungee cord. And then slide these back up. I forgot where it was. Something like this. And now back here, we had these grounds welded to a tab right here on the corner. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill a smaller hole. We're gonna use this hole for a bolt, but it's a bit too big. So we're gonna drill another one like around here. And we're gonna ground these to the chassis right there. Well, of course, from the top. So we're gonna beat the brakes. We're gonna start over here at the rear passenger side. We have some brake fluid from AutoZone. And then we're gonna do the rear driver side. We haven't put the drive shaft in because we have to pull it out. It's leaking from the yoke. So we have to find a way to fix that. We have a little setup right here. And we already broke this loose. So. Pump it again. See how dirty that brake fluid is. That I guess that's whatever was left in the diff. Hold it. See all that air coming out now. So we're gonna keep doing this. We're gonna run to AutoZone for more brake fluid and then we'll put you guys back on once we're done with this. We got the wheels back on the truck. We got these bolts tight. We got these bolts tight. We got both of these tight. We're just missing those two on both sides because we're missing one nut. I don't know what happened to it. We're gonna look for it right now. And we pulled out the drive shaft because like I said before, it was having another leak. We had tried welding it, but I don't think we did a good job. So these leak from in here. I'm gonna try to knock the welds off. Maybe they'll just come off easy. I don't know. And we're going to put some RTV. We put the drive shaft back in. We waited a whole day for the uh, RTV to cure. We're just missing one bolt right here for the handbrake. We got everything tight. Even these right here, we got everything else tight. Uh, the battery's on there temporarily. We just got it hand tight for now. These Allen bolts. And we got these wheels back in. Or back on we let it idle a little bit yesterday just so we could go get the brakes bled so we're gonna pull it out right now and see how it drives with this diff so it doesn't feel as bad as i thought it would well as in the gear ratio it still drives pretty good the other diff had 456s this one we're not even sure what it has Oh no, actually the other one had 488. This one is stock 
gears so I don't know exactly what it has the shift points are a bit off but overall it's driving pretty good oh and the brakes are I don't know they're pretty low you can hear them oh shit well there's no there's no oil in here Maybe that's why I was making that one noise. Oh, and the welds also broke off. Let's see if I can turn this. I can't even turn it, but you can see this. That was basically the welds completely came off. And there's something down there. A piece of metal. Another piece of metal. Let's look at the magnet right here. It's a little bit of metal right here, look. So we're gonna end up getting rid of this axle. There's nothing we could use except for the drums if we still had a axle with drums. But we got rotors now. So we're just gonna scrap this whole thing. I think it'll be cool to keep the carrier with the gears and make something out of it but we're just going to leave it in here because we don't want to go through the hassle of removing everything we also just noticed that there's a little hole right here and i guess that's where it started leaking from before it gave out everything is painted we just got to throw on the bed sides it's a couple of bolts we're not even going to show you guys because all we got to do is just plug up the lights bolt up the bed sides and we're done we got the new diff in there with the rotors the parking brakes they're short so we're gonna try to figure that out we don't really use them so it doesn't really matter i think that's pretty much it we got all this zip tied we're gonna finish zip tying this once we get the bed tied on uh, and also for this side we're gonna do the same thing that's it for this video make sure to check us out on instagram at yonke underscore oxc films i'll leave that in the description down below and we'll catch you in the next one